I would like to begin today's episode with a quick excerpt from my new book, Aiden Kinsella's Guide to Offense. I'm going to be talking about offensive maneuver number 49, sword. One of the oldest tricks in the book. A sword is a long, metal blade attached to your hand in some way, often with duct tape. The sword is good for cutting, treating burns by way of cutting, treating illnesses by way of cutting, or bloodletting, stabbing, smacking, whirling, twirling, hurling, stab cutting, and three other things. The sword is an awesome maneuver. Politely offering the sharp part of your sword to your enemy will often lead to them thanking you and taking it. That is the customary and practiced response to having something politely offered to you. When they take it, they'll find that they've severed their fingers from their hands and wish they'd never been taught proper manners. A sword can also be used as an effective melee weapon for mutilating and or lacerating the enemy. Against a gunfight, a sword can do a great deal, as a sword is an archaic form of combat and thus unexpected. As Sun Tzu said, one man with a sword will beat ten gunmen every time. Two men with a sword is an unstoppable combination. And a woman with two swords is a devil's three-way. And that is a good idea. Good Idea is a comedy podcast where we find creative, actionable solutions to your real-life problems. I'm Aiden Kinsella. I'm Bradley Berkley. And I'm Isabel Andrus. And this is, is Good, good idea. idea. Hey, hey Brad. So, What's up? Hey, let's Isabel. estimate the general hours of sleep each of us got last night. Who first? Yeah, you first. What That's why we're looking at you. Um, Four? Well, that's that's a good amount. Yeah, that's a How about you, Aiden? That. Um, okay, let's see. I got home at one, and then I definitely watched some television. Yeah. So probably, and then I woke up at like 8.30, so probably like 6, which isn't horrible. That's good. Like two. Why? Um. Like, what's your excuse? Oh, no, I did the math wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Seven. <laughs> That's a big difference. <laughs> I'm sorry, I inversed it. <laughs> That's a big difference. Oh, um, it should have been negative two. Whoops. Ah, oh, shoot. Ah, oh, shoot. What? Did you? Did you do a bad? No, I just. I was just saying. Ah, oh, shoot. I inversed it. Um. So here's the here's the question. Who wants to start with a prompt, Bradley? No. Okay, I'll do it. Isabel, you will go second, as is customary on Good Idea guest episodes. What was that? I don't have a prompt. You don't have a prompt? I'll give you prompts. Okay. Don't worry. Um, I did not come prepared. Yeah, it's that's fine. You're not supposed to. Don't worry about it. Okay. Um, so I'm going to go with this prompt right here. Romeo and Juliet, except they're two car dealers from different dealerships. From Keegan. A good friend of the show. So, inherently, one of the funniest brands of cars, Toyota. So I think we start there. Because <laughs> I just like saying the name. Okay, so we're going to start with Toyota. But we'll, well, we need two different dealerships. Well, dealerships can sell different brands of cars. And a Tesla. Well, okay, so it's a Toyota like dealership Tesla. and a Tesla dealership. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Two houses alike in dignity. <laughs> Well, okay, so I think the Tesla, the Tesla dealership, um, Tesla, Tesla, the Tesla dealership, um, girl is very, uh, she's very environmentally conscious. Have you ever heard the song, um, New Age Girl by Dead Eye Dick? No, but it interests me that there's a, um, music man named Dead Eye Dick. Yep. Is it you? No, it's not me. He sounds like an asshole. He does kind of sound like an asshole. <laughs> um, <laughs> All right, moving on. So I do think I do think she's kind of a new age girl. Yes. You know, tell us what she's like. Environmentalist girl. Yeah. Does she ride her bike? So she's like all over the place. She's like a hipster. She loves the environment. Definitely eats vegan. Mm-hmm. She doesn't she doesn't eat meat, but she sure likes to bone. Um, this is just another quote from the song. Excellent. Good. It's such a good song. Don't look up the lyrics to it, please. I think I know all the lyrics to it. Don't worry. Who's the Toyota man? Who's he? What yeah, is the he Toyota doing? man? I think he's got like a Toyota Rav Four. Is that a thing? No. No, I don't think so. Okay, well, maybe he's just get Japanese, it. and that's just the cultural difference. Okay, he's Japanese. He also loves big trucks. 
and he cannot lie. It's a Toyota Civic. No, that's a Honda. Does anyone know anything about Toyotas? Cars. <laughs> cars. I don't know anything about cars Does Toyota other make than the, um, Previa. Grand? Yeah, let's get that one. What does that look like? Um, no, it should be a Kia Soul. It should be a Kia Soul. Is that Soul. Toyota, though? That's not Toyota. And why should it be a Kia Soul? It should be a Kia Soul because... um. We have a great friend that drives a Kia Soul. A great man. A great leader. He's so yep. inspiring. Okay, so they cannot... Should we list a couple of his quotes? A couple of his quotes? I think um, we go into quotes. I'm so addicted to this coffee. No. It, at least it's not heroin. At least it's not being addicted to heroin. And if I were to be reincarnated, I would come back as a Jewish person, which has several theological ramifications to it, which we were not prepared to explain to him at the time. Nope. Um, what, what's the one? Do you have one more? Um, a personal favorite of mine. Well, I like... how much we fucking do for you? Yeah. That wasn't what it was. That was a good one. It was just, you don't know how much we do for you. I don't think I've ever heard him say that. No, the fucking... The fucking was there. What? Um, my personal favorite is just, whenever he's disappointed in me, he'll just give me a... Okay. Okay. Like, it's never (laughs) just one okay. It's always two okays. I think that's good. I also think I used to play with Mercury when I was little. Oh, yeah. It's good. Is Mr. just the (laughs) the Toyota Premia dealer? (laughs) Is is that what we decided? Yeah. He's the Kia Soul dealer. The Kia Soul dealer. Okay, so it's no longer Toyota. He's no no longer longer Toyota. He sells the He's not even a car dealer. He's own. just trying to sell his shitty car. Across the street in like a lot. It's like 40 bucks. <laughs> and they get all. And nobody's like, hey, I won't buy it's that car. Forbidden, it's forbidden love. Hey, it's forbidden love because he's stealing their business. <laughs> so but I she just really like, wants to be with him. I just like the, like the thing that he's going to go to get when his daughter is done with college. And he doesn't have to pay for college anymore. He's any, a Lexus. Anything but a Kia Soul. <laughs> no, wait, he's a Lexus. He like, specifically he wants a Lexus. really wants a Lexus. Like, that's the nicest car. So we you have... start a GoFundMe for Mr. <laughs> Lexus. <laughs> we should buy Mr. <laughs> Lexus. Sell Citrus to... Sell C- we have to sell Citrus to get him a new car. I mean, with how many people sell Citrus? Like, I feel like we could do it. Oh, yeah. Who cares about Italy? Oh my god. I don't. Italians for the Vatican? Who cares? Fuck them all. <laughs> the Pope? What did he ever do? I want to talk about the Pope. You want to talk Let's about, talk the, about pope? the Pope? In some aspect. Let's I talk about the pope. pope. I just like it. Somebody yesterday suggested the idea of Pope breakdancing. The breakdancing? It was how? It was like a quip. Was it a quiplash product? I think so, yeah. It was no, like, it how can. It was what? the t-shirt one. How to spice up church. Oh, well, no, it wasn't. How to make church better. It's like, it was oh, Pope. yeah. How can the Catholic church bring more people in? It was like breakdancing Pope and shoot. What was the other one? The other one was the one I voted for. Free it money. Good. It wasn't free money. They already was... have that. That's the best part of church is when they pass around those bowls and you just take what you want. <laughs> 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 and you're like, oh fuck God. yeah, I'll take this. And the pastor keeps giving you a bad look and you're like, what do you want? You're giving out the free money? <laughs> It's like Halloween for the religious. <laughs> That's just regular <laughs> Halloween, honestly. You can you can go even if you're Catholic or Christian or Protestant or I'm not really I'm just naming the same thing like seventy five times, but it's, with different variations on it. It's my um, it's 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 much more than a hobby to me, but spiritual Halloween is my great solace. I love Halloween. Halloween's the best holiday. Christmas is the best holiday, but I love Halloween. No, Halloween's the best holiday. One time for my birthday, Renee got me a bobblehead pope. So now I own a bobblehead pope. Why haven't you... Wait, 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 wait. Discarded this, that. This is actually really good. Pope, we want to talk about pope. How about pope merchandise? Yes. Pope mer... Okay, so... Okay, def- okay, okay so first of all, the pope, vest- p- pajama vestments. The pope needs to start yes. a YouTube channel. <gasps> he needs pope, to become a public figure. He does. An internet a pope personality. Figure. Mm-hmm. Because, I mean, what good is it just being a pope? If you don't have a successful YouTube channel, he, he has Pope a new is- game show. He has a new game, uh, a new quiz game show called Popery, and it's ju- it's just that section of Jeopardy. I have never watched Jeopardy. Uh, nope. <laughs> okay, well, what YouTube videos is unboxing? No, the Pope needs to collab with Markiplier. <laughs> I think the Pope makes unboxing videos. The Pope does just make, the Pope He unboxes unbox- our sins. Yeah, he like, makes baptism videos. Q and A's. I want the Pope to just slam dunk a baby into that into that tub of water, just like slam right back out, <clears throat> right back out. And there's water like dripping down. The baby is like spinning. It's like what the fuck, man? 
He definitely does a talk show where he talks about science because he's a cool pope. He is a cool pope. It's like global warming. That's real. Evolution. I don't think he's released a statement on that, so I can't talk about it. Um, but gays, they're okay. You know, you know he believes in evolution. I don't think we know him. You know. Him. You I don't, know. I don't want to. I don't want to talk for the pope. I do. You know that the pope has like this throne where he sits on it, and it's literally the word of God. Yeah. But like any other time, it's like the pope is just like the regular pope. I would so just sit on that throne all the time if I were the Pope. Yeah, Pope. yeah, but like you have to be really careful what you say because if you're up there, like, oh, Helen's a bitch, and it's like the voice of God, Helen's a bitch. <laughs> you can't. You have to be really careful, don't you? <laughs> would that transform Helen into a female dog? I don't know. If I it is the word of God, I, it is the. I don't know exactly. I mean, what would that do? The Metatron boost. The Metatron, the voice of God. Oh. I don't know what that is. That's so. not Megatron, by the way. It's an actual no. thing. No, I know. Okay, good. So you got your pajama vestments. Although I you imagine got... the voice of God does look like a Transformer. <laughs> God is Undertale. God created Undertale. Well, God created Sans Undertale. God is it. Oh, no. I don't want to think about that. Okay. So, pajama vestments. Pope unboxing YouTube channel. Rebranding the Pope. Supreme. Yes. <laughs> we need Supreme stickers yes. for the Pope. Just put it on all the stuff directly in the middle. He has a new brand of Bosco sticks. It's a third person Pope video game. Um, we got Popery, Pope Game Show. Um, I Pope Bosco sticks, again, just very good. Uh, what else? What what else can we put the Pope's name on? I'm still sort of hooked on the idea that we just slap a Supreme sticker on him. Yeah, I'm with the Supreme. Okay, you're just rebranding him. I'm talking no, about No, across the forehead. <gasps> and then the Pope works with Supreme... To make some hackin' Pope hat. What is that thing called? Who cares? The Pope hat. hat. It's called the Pope hat. Oh, the Pope hat. That's right. And you just put Supreme across the front. It's like, you got... All the hype beasts. Yeah, rice gummies out there just like wearing that hat. (laughs) He's having a great time. The Pope needs to rap battle rice gum. The Pope would kick rice gum's fucking ass. Epic showdown rice gum versus the Pope. Get Jake Paul involved in that somehow. Okay, but the Pope has God on his side. Have you, have you met Jake Paul? No. Jake Paul has the wrath of I don't even know. Who, I barely know who he is. <laughs> Me too. Um, okay, so you got that. Could we get um, a new car sh- a, a new car dealership for Pope mobiles? Yes. Isn't a Pope mobile just like a regular car with like this giant dome across the top of it, where like the Pope could stand in, and it's like bulletproof glass? It's not yes. just bulletproof. It's like everything proof. How does it get in? Do they, like, take it off, like, the top of a serving tray with, like, a big crane? It's like, like tonight for your dish, we serve your Pope. <laughs> he is excellent. It's a Pope kebab. It's, I mean, it's essentially, that's pope just, that's just anti-JFK pope's class. Pope's it's just, just Pope'sicle? Yeah, she said Pope on a stick. I Wait, said Pope's Wait, heck yeah, we got, that. that's another really <laughs> brand. It's like, you, you go out to the, the, it's the ice cream truck comes around, it's like, it's like, you got the Door Explorer one, you got the Spongebob Squarepants one, and Spider-Man. you, and it's Spider-Man, and it's like, with those same eyeballs that are like, constantly the leaking, because they're, because they're gumballs, yeah. and they're like, they're like, the black has infiltrated the rest and of the white really thing, scary. and it's like the Pope horror version, and they just, it's like, Popesicle, and you're like, <laughs> wow, I want to eat the Pope. That's good. I do think Pope branded Bibles would be good, just like a Catholic church. This is the official Bible, Bible of the Pope. Yeah. It's the Bible, <laughs> but, but, the, but the Pope comments on everything that he doesn't agree with. No, wait, wait. He can sit on the throne and he can do a commentary edition, like a like a director. Yeah. It's an audio book, a director's commentary of the of the, of the Bible of the Bible, and it's like Leviticus. Like something, 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 I don't know what I was thinking here. Honestly, you people took it way too literally. This is just a moral story, of Jesus Christ. <laughs> I do think they have a new brand of toilets that are modeled after that Pope throne that when he sits on it, um, that is the word of God. So I think it's, they it's sit the, on it and it makes like a little, like there's like a sound cue as this light, as the seat goes down. It's thunder like, booms in the distance. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. And like, it's like the Pope on the throne. It's like, prepare me to shit it. The word of God is yours when you sit on the throne. I'd buy Toilet that. poper. Poper scooper. <laughs> <laughs> and then a sniper rifle called a poper scoper. <laughs> we turned him into quite the sort of media agent, haven't we? He's he's very hip and with it. Yep. I can't wait till 
I don't know. He's from Argentina, right? He has a new radio show called Ask the Pope. Is he from Argentina? We wrote a play, and there was a radio station in it that was the main thing, and 1555 Ask the Pope Pope was the number for the radio station. It was was, was actually the number for the Catholic Catholic Church. It was the Vatican's private phone number, and Mm -hmm. that was... Except you write to the Pope. Yeah. (laughs) And they're like, how did you get this number? You must be a cell phone. That's God, the... God, is this you? Because God is the only person who's allowed to have that number. Yeah, but then it yeah. turns out, like, actually, like, he thought yeah. we were God for a second. It was yeah. kind of awkward. He was just like... That's the story of how um, the Pope is now sponsoring this podcast. Oh, yeah. Popecast. That's why I'm also legally obligated to tell you all right now that um, all the other religions, just they just they're just not sure. <laughs> <laughs> fake. It's, it's fake news. It's fake news. It's fake news. The only the only real one is Catholicism, um, except uh, Janus. You guys got like fifty percent of it right. Um, <laughs> it's like I love the good place on NBC. <laughs> Doug Forsett. Oh my goodness! Right. Hey, can we do, do another prompt? Yeah, yeah. Izzy, let's yeah. do another prompt. Why don't you come pick a prompt, Isabel? Okay. So you see this list of prompts? Yes. See one that you Are like. Are these from our friends? Um, mostly. I mean, everyone who sends us prompts is a friend of the show. Most of them are from people I know. You guys should tweet at us. Uh, on Twitter, we are, uh, at GoodIdeaCast. Uh, you could also email us at GoodIdeaPodcast at gmail.com or find us on Facebook, Good Idea Podcast, and send us prompts there. Because we need prompts. I do think 32 is fitting for us. 32? Yeah, we could do that. I think this is a particularly good group to do 32 with. Yes. Bradley? Yes, sir? Can you help us pitch a new musical? Hmm. So first of all, we definitely need a topic for a mu- for the musical. So I'm I am thinking right off the bat. No, wait, wait. This is the most important thing. The topic for the musical is the most important thing. A we musical agree about on it. how much we dislike musicals. That just sounds like a one act that we would have at our school. It yeah. does. That's true. Fifteen reasons not to, to be, be in, in a play. play. I hated that one. That was awful. It was bad. I was in that one. It was bad. Yeah. It was bad. It wasn't funny, is the thing. And what were you going to say? I don't know. I was going to see if I could come up with something. Okay. Well, that's my that's my general... Let's do something that's never been ever done before by any piece of media ever, which is high school and the high school experience. Okay. <laughs> and we can just call it Red Solo Cup. Red Solo Cup. <laughs> now, Bradley, I think you're sort of... Ver- now, I think you might be a little bit misinformed. Well, there's a musical, there is a musical called, um, called High School Musical. There's actually three of what? them. What? Um, that's ridiculous. They, Wait, do you not count Sharpay's Big Adventure as the fourth of the High School Musical series? Is that a series? movie, though, that is good? Is there music in it? it well, it's Sharpay's Big Adventure. Okay, but I don't know that I've watched that. I know what you're talking about. I Wait, there's, there's, a, there's four fucking musicals about high school? Aren't they coming out with another one? Mm-hmm. No, so there's, there's, but with a new cast. What? What? There's also a this song just called... Ha- they stole my idea. They oh, stole sue. your idea, You should yeah. sue. You should sue. I am going to sue. There's also a musical called uh, Be More Chill, which has a whole bunch of songs about partying in high school. What? Uh, it's a fantastic musical. Sam and I actually tried to write a musical last year that was basically just Be More Chill without the, the robot component. I have to sue you now. You have to sue me? Yeah, because you just stole my idea. Okay. We could, how do we put a spin on it then? How do we how do we make this the definitive high school musical? Ooh, have it have like everyone three is girls. really sad. No, like three girls that have the same name that like just kill people. What? Oh, that sounds cool. I like that. Yeah. How do we how do we facilitate that? How do we facilitate not alienating everyone in the audience? <laughs> well, we could call it Jacqueline. I love Jacqueline. That wasn't a stab at Jacqueline, okay, which good. is the first girl made like. No, but Jacqueline Jacqueline. made a stab at everybody else. That's why they're all dead. Oh wow. Hey. Drano. Wait, what if we made a musical about Drano? Hmm. That's fascinating. Can we do that? I don't think there's a musical about it. I want an osmo- okay. osmo- Let me Wikipedia this. I want an Osmosis Jones musical. <gasps> a musical. Oh, that's um, very good. The musical um, that we pitched to middle school kids what, what, what about, about the about weird a... changes that are going to happen in their bodies. Oh no, that's bad. What about what about <laughs> candy? What about an Osmosis Jones musical? 
Osmosis Jones is a 2001 American live action slash animated comedy adventure film with animated scenes directed by Tom Cito and Piet Kroon and live action scenes directed by the Farley Brothers. The film oh, centers yes, the on Farley Frank Detour, a slovenly zoo, zoo, a slovenly zookeeper. Okay, well they kind of stole from J, uh, J, 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 what's his name? Jafar. Jafar. Yeah, Jafar is the zookeeper. Jeb Bush is the zookeeper. Um, James Cameron's the zookeeper. The live action series are set outside of Frank's body, while the animated scenes are set inside his body, which is portrayed the as a city. The animated scenes are set outside his body, while the live action <laughs> scenes are inside his body. Colonoscopy, <laughs> the musical. Just get your hand right up. Nope, not that far. No, too far. Osmosis Ozzy Jones and Cold Pill Drix must prevent deadly virus Thrax from killing Frank within 48 hours. This sounds like a fantastic movie. So who's um, in it? So you def we we got Bill Murray, really Chris nice Rock. I don't know any of these other people. Oh, William Shatner. Those are all the people in it that I know. Mm-hmm. Um, now Randy Edelman composed the music, so we definitely get him. Um, what? I haven't seen Osmosis Jones. Have you seen Osmosis Jones? No, I have no idea what you're talking about. Okay, I haven't maybe seen we Osmosis shouldn't Jones do Osmosis either. Jones. I like the idea of Osmosis Jones. <laughs> then why don't we make a musical based on what we think Osmosis Jones is? So right off the bat, the opening number is just something quick and snappy, like a. Uh, Wait, hold on. I gotta do that right. There it is. Opening no, number done. Silical volcano condiosis. Which is just super califragilistic expialidocious, but it's with a virus instead. <laughs> I forgot the word. So that's the it's that's really the first long. song. Yeah, I I know it's like the longest word in the English language, correct? Yeah, right after super califragilistic expialidocious. So apparently, so, Osmosis Jones premiered three days before it was released in the United States, and that's hilarious to me because this seems like a movie that would be straight to DVD. <laughs> <laughs> How, what did There's a character named office Fleming, office? which is really good. Which is P H L E G M M I N G. What did you say, Isabel? I said, "How much did it bring in box office?" Fourteen million. What? What is the budget? But the budget was seventy million dollars. <laughs> no, it was not. Was it? <laughs> yes, it was. Uh, that's great. That's like a. <laughs> that's like everything in our theater department right now. Oh, our budget's really high, but we bring in no money? Yep. Raised over $13. Sorry, search pneumometrosophic silica volcano condiosis. Okay, so what Siri has typed out is Siri search Newman liquor stop of silica volcano condi 06. <laughs> Which is okay. not... So that's the first song. And it's just super cal- cal- volcano condi 06. I think it should be the Siri If you have black line, it makes your body quite atrocious. Go to the ER wing and... Get yourself a toaster, Numa Microsilica Volcano Condiosis. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I do think I do think we should definitely incorporate some like four humors um medicine in here. Just sort of really get deep in that Greek shit. Um I'm constantly in that Greek shit. You're constantly in that Greek shit. Yeah, I mean you're always Brad doing is a that. frat boy name. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're like, you're like. I was just talking about that, like some guy named Antonius is just coming over and just putting me in a septic tank, which was uncomfortable. Now, Bradley, aren't you in charge of the frat? Why are they still hazing you? The frat? What frat? Oh yeah, my frat. Yeah, that's right. Try Delta Pi Delta Three. Um, they're cool guys. Why do you have Try and Three in there? (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> we wanted to make sure because a lot of the frat guys don't know what's what. Yeah, <laughs> they don't know what's hip and cool. It. Did I just call it try Delta try Five, Delta, Delta, Delta three? three? Yeah, yeah, I did, didn't I? That's very good. That's our frat. So my frat, oh, we're we're pretty much exclusively hard liquor. We don't do much of that serious stuff, you know, the stuff that really gets people wasted. Um. Can but, I get a martini? But is okay. hard liquor not the stuff that gets people wasted? Sorry, I just gotta open this candy really quick. It just We should do a musical theme on candy. I bet nobody's ever done the frat boy mu- Oh my god, wait, 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 wait. Everyone's done the high school musical. Frat Boys but in Candy Land. No no no, Frat Boy Musical. Yes. Actually Keegan's like yes. a prompt that was college the musical. So in my frat, I mean we do almost exclusive we're kinda you know how there's like the alcohol frat, like the party frat? Yeah. We're just a drug frat. 
Got it. So, a um, couple of my guys hooked on heroin. That's okay. We still get into their classes on time. It's a real family. So, how do we facilitate this? What college do they go to? Is it good or Mizzou. bad? The college um, nobody wants to go to right now. Brown. Brown? Drake. I don't want to talk about Drake. Grinnell? I don't want to talk about Grinnell either. What about Which pick? Hold on, hold on. Ready? Duke, Niata. I don't know what that is, but New I'm York like, Academy of the Dramatic Arts. No, Duke. I it's Duke. just it's just the last like three okay, seasons okay. of Glee. Duke, I think I, I think Duke is the most iconic college. Yeah. We could sort of set it in like the I Am Charlotte Simmons universe. Yes. Nobody's read that. Um, and actually, like you could say Duke Money. Isabel, again, another joke. Absolutely no one will get. But it's with a funny voice, so. I mean, it's with a funny voice. <laughs> <laughs> this game that I'm shaking next to the microphone right now is called Q. It's a good game. It's by the Indie Board Boards and Cards game. And um, Maybe they'll sponsor. It's really good. And I recommend you play it. And there's a character in it called the Duke. And, and has the Duke every time money. you take the every time you use the tax action, it's a house rule that you have to say, "I'm going to take some Duke, Duke money. money." It's really funny because really, you say it in a funny really, voice. So. Yeah, funny voices make everything. Funny. So, what else? What else happens at college? I think it's all. I think like ninety percent of the musical is just like studying. It's well, just quiet. Yeah, <laughs> it's just. It takes place at a college library. On the and they're constantly floor. trying to sit you know, on like the third floor, and they're like, "Can we sing? Can we not?" I wish I'd get these tests today. I'll never get them done. I don't know how. There's nothing else that I can't come up with. There's just like apply. a little mini song that's like, "Who the fuck stole my ramen?" That's it. That would be good. Um, oh, I do think, I do think there's. Where a- is the reference section? Will you be quiet, young man? Like seriously, <laughs> come on. There's a song that is, they're all up, it, when they're all um, taking the test, the song is a, like, there's no um, background instruments or anything, it's all rhythm, and it's done by the sounds of, like, pencils scraping on paper, and it's like... So that thing from Phineas and Ferb. Yeah, that, no, not that, it's not in the library, it's not the Phineas and Ferb scene, but yes. Chanel, Gautier, or Giorgio, That's for the sororities. Yeah, that'd be good. I do think... I th- What if it was just American Psycho, but it took place at college? Have you seen those videos of the girls, and they do, like, the sorority chants, and they're all, like, sitting in the doorway, like, bopping their heads? I have seen that. It's horrifying. It's really awful. I have not. You, I'll show you uh, is it all? Are you going to join a sorority? I know. I'm I'm joining a Tri Delta 5 Delta, Delta 3. 3. I might be joining... Probably not. Nope, probably not. I'm gonna I don't really think any sororities will want me. Why not? You've got you've got your good college shirt on right now. I don't have my good Isabel, college shirt on right Isabel, now. Isabel, every sorority would want you. You, you they, you'd do all the work. <laughs> I'd be the DD every every party. Yes, the DD, the drunk driver. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I have to drive you. I can drive you home. Oh, that's great. But I I have one rule. I get to be able to drink. <laughs> <laughs> no, we can't do that. No, listen, it's uh, no. It's, I'll drive you home. I just hey, listen. I know. I know. I was supposed to be your designated driver, and you're already all drunk. But this bartender's really into me. We're gonna go bang it out. Which means I'm not gonna be able to drive you home. But I called you a cab. But they recognized my number and didn't want to come. I've thrown up in a lot of cabs. Okay, retracting the college thing and just going back to the musical thing. Musical pitch, Karate Kid the musical, but he's only a blue belt. So it's all about him becoming a black belt? No, he never becomes a black belt. He's just a blue belt. He it's very gets, mediocre. He never gets farther than a blue belt. I can't, I can't get this right. <laughs> I, just, I just can't. I can't. Ow! There's like a training <laughs> under the waterfall montage and he falls into the waterfall. <laughs> <laughs> Shit! And then he's like, oh my god, are you okay? And he's like... I fucking bashed my head open, asshole. <laughs> What's the purpose of this? Is this how you He's kick? like he's like wielding the stick around and just falls off the cliff. <laughs> Is this how you like hits the sensei up the head? I'm fucking done training you, asshole. 
Is you put like, no effort into the, You don't know how much we fucking do karate for you. Karate Kid, but the, what? the sunset's just high all the time. Constantly. And That's like, just Karate Kid. <laughs> is this how you kick right? No, no, that was... That he's, was he's like flailing his leg around. That was a, that was a punch. <laughs> no. That's with the fist. Kick is with the foot. Oh, oh like this. That's a headbutt, asshole. <laughs> no. Hold on, let me, let me try one more time. No, now you're just flexing your toes weird. <laughs> Hey, check it out, I got it. And they're like, you I don't get this, but like in ballet, they make you do like, banana, pancake, banana, pancake, and flex your foot. And I feel like I can just imagine the kid just like, doing the thing like where you're up on one leg with like your arms like this. The just like, banana, pancake, banana, pancake. You, you cannot learn the secret of the crane kick until you have mastered the banana, banana pancake. pancake maneuver. What's the crane kick? The crane kick? It's um, it's, it's when you take a bird and you tie it to your foot and then you kick your opponent and the bird bites them. I also. can't believe you don't know the crane kick. I've never even seen the Here, crane kick. I'll do kick. it. Should we do it? Yeah. They can't what see. What a nice. No, they can't. Bradley, you're going to have to describe this. Okay, I'll describe it. It's two jackasses doing a fucking weird thing. <laughs> no, we haven't even started. No, I was just talking about you. Wow, a vaguely racist stereotype. I love it. I'm Japanese. Okay, excuse me, and uh, karate is what? I'm white. <laughs> <laughs> You're also so far away from the mic. And excuse me, karate is from what karate? I'm on the ground. You want help? My arm goes numb. <laughs> what if we made a musical called Dear Evan Hansen about a boy who makes a fake friendship and then... It's Chinese. The- Fuck you. Okay. All Asian people are not the same. Even I know that one. <laughs> even, I, even I know that one. You can't. You can't just use the Japanese one to get away from that. But I can. Why? Because I'm not Japanese. No. So it would be like a lie. <laughs> not a good thing. Hey, what's up, shithead? We're watching anime, Ted. No, you're not. It's very yep. clear that the TV is off. Oh, come on, here. We're watching anime. Ted, get out. We're watching anime. We're watching anime. I don't see it. Ted okay. doesn't see the anime. This is Ted. Ted, do you want to guess for a second? Just for a second. Yeah, sure. Okay, so Ted's sitting on Bradley's lap now, which is good. Um, we've got a friend. We've got a friend in Ted. Yeah. Hey, Ted, how you doing? I just we've got see. a friend in Ted. What do you just want? A skittle. Yes. He just yes. wants a skittle. <laughs> Ted, wait. That'd be kind of nasty. Ted, quick question. Yes. What is the next hit young adult novel? Um. Ah. Uh, Turtles all the way down by John Green. <laughs> Coming out soon. It already came out, Bradley. Coming out soon. No, it already came out, Bradley. Very soon. Is the emoji movie getting, like, a book Three three years ago. Oh, it should. It really should. Two minutes ago. It had a great storyline. Fault in Our Stars. It's such a great storyline. It was really moving. Just the Lego movie, but different. (laughs) The Fault in Our Stars 2. You won't cut that Skittle. Ted, if you knock those Skittles off the table. (laughs) I just want a Skittle. (laughs) You just want... (laughs) (laughs) You knock them over, you barbarian. Skittles accident... (laughs) Ted is struggling so much. <laughs> this is so sad. <laughs> Ted, I remember you came down one time on our old podcast and tried to grab beat. I just want a banana. <laughs> I just want a banana. <laughs> I just Bradley's want a banana. Bradley's phone has now been thrown onto the floor. <laughs> oh, that's right. No. You, Ted, you have literally knocked them all onto the floor. <laughs> you literally knocked them onto There's the floor. There's like four on the floor. There are hey, kids. Hey, four on the floor. Like, keep your chair on the ground. There are at least Just Keep 20. your chair on the ground. Okay. He got a Skittle. <laughs> and thus ends the art. Can we make a musical about Ted trying to get Skittles? <laughs> it's called Skittles Ted. I would watch that. Of course you would watch it. You would be the star. <laughs> no, you would. we'd have to cast with like a better actor. I'm a great actor. No, you're not. I can do Irish accents. Ted, can you do your monologue? Can you do your monologue from the show? But in Irish. The mass of campaign donations that I received from Nougat Nene Manufacturing have nothing to do with my continued support of their brand and products. Nougat Nene Factories provide jobs. And who could ignore their flavor blasted totally off the walls awesome? Hard here's the alternative to putting on breakfast cereal. 
was pretty good. That was very yeah, good. That was, was I'm impressed. I mean, it's like, there's like fucking 40 on the ground. <laughs> I cannot do an Irish 40. accent for the life of me. It kind of started sounding like a Nelson Mandela in the middle. No, How do you know what Nelson no, Mandela you sounds you like? Did. You defo didn't start sounding like Nelson Mandela. Do you know what Nelson Mandela sounds like? Yeah, he's South African. Yes. And he has a very strange voice. Okay, the only That's person racist. you know who's South African is our orthodontist. So you are kicking me in the place where I fell off the stage, so that hurts a little bit. Where'd you fall off the stage, Bradley? Yeah, that probably wasn't smart. Is that my cell phone? No. Give me my cell phone. Hey, bitch punk. <laughs> what you Good idea. Episode... <laughs> whatever. Episode... <laughs> Ted. Episode Ted. Ted Talks. Yes. <laughs> Ted Talks! <laughs> It's you not- came into the basement to watch anime. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. I had to get my Chromebook because I had homework to do. But now I'm playing Red Bull, so it doesn't really matter. Okay. TED Talk transcript. Ted, come here. I want you to do a TED Talk. Okay. Yeah, I was going to say, everybody pitch what their TED Talk would be. Um, here. I don't know that I can find TED Talk's transcripts. Damn it. David R. Williams. Eric Berlow and Tell Sean Gordley. Did everyone know the importance of uh, shitting while squatting? Does everyone understand that? Not that. Yeah. I didn't even know that. Okay, well, then you, you choose one. Yeah. Okay. Um, you could do furries. No, I will not. <laughs> furries Wait, yeah, yeah we, pitch, we, we each have to... Ted, you have to pick one of our three TED Talks. Okay, I choose, I choose Ted Talk About Furries. Isabel, what do you want? Oh, I was going to do furries. Um... You can do that too. He could tap at your story. No, no, you need to do a different one. I demand it. Okay, then you go first. I'm thinking. Okay, well, I was also thinking, so that's kind of unfortunate, but I think you should definitely do. You should definitely do a TED talk on the effectiveness of different weapons used during World War II. Okay, I don't know very many. I'll put quotes around the word weapons. Yes. (laughs) Poison gas. Boom. Izzy, I think you bring this one home. Um, a TED Talk on why high school is the best time. Okay. What, hi, just, high school forever. High school forever. Seniors 08. Uh, high, school, high school forever. And you'll a, never accomplish anything meaningful outside of your high school. High school forever, a story of how I'm still friends with all of my friends from high school. Are and you still in high school? <laughs> no. He does have you there, Isabel. He does. Ted. Okay. So, Which one do you want to do a TED Talk forever on? never leaving my hometown. I feel like I just don't know enough about World War II. No, you weapons. can make it up. Make it up. Okay. I put, the, I put quotes around the word weapons. Alright. Well, one of the more popularly used come, weapons. Come closer to the mic. you got to be audible. No, don't. No. ASMR World War II. World War II <laughs> ASMR. <laughs> Boom. Boom. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Oh, we're gonna do some 367. There goes Dresden. <laughs> <laughs> the Soviets are coming. The Soviets are coming. Our, hit, our Hitler. Our leader killed himself in the basement like a little bitch. Wait <laughs> to fire until you see the whites of their eyes. That's the American Revolution. Doesn't matter. Okay. okay. Still war. So, no, Donald. The Russian Revolution. <laughs> One of the more commonly used weapons by the American soldiers was, of course, the Freedom mm-hmm. Sword. Which the was Freedom Sword. Essentially a lightsaber. However, it had incredible powers Low that were used lightsaber. to destroy everything ever. Um, it was a nuke inside of a sword. Okay, this is bad. I don't even know what I'm doing. No, you're doing a great job. Please keep, giving our t- please keep giving us a TED Talk about the weapons used in World War II. Well, I have to think. We'll, we'll do that. ASMR while you think. Okay. Firing on all cylinders. You should have a podcast where you just play with... Seek him! Monsieur! I can walk! No, Jeremy. Hitler is bad. Hold We're on. fighting against Hitler. What does it sound like? 
Okay, so last time I looked up Minecraft, yes. <laughs> <laughs> the funniest thing about that was you just pronounced Minecraft like Minecraft. <laughs> you went Minecraft, and I'm like, oh my god, are you kidding me? Minecraft. Minecraft has a 3.1 percent or no, 3.1 out of five on Goodreads, and has an 85 percent liked this book. Google users. I don't. Who? How is this allowed? That is a Minecraft thing. You gotta hold it closer to the mic, Ted, because it has to be audible. Alright, guys. I'm gonna take on me now. I really like this song, it sounds good. <laughs> I really like this song, it sounds good. <laughs> I don't do this. Um, what was everyone's favorite idea? Um, I like the Skittles. You like the Skittles? I like the Skittles. They're pretty sweet. You're actively eating them. I know. Are you eating I know. four Skittles? I'm gonna like them. I really like Those them. Those are the four Skittles. These are like the good Skittles. I There's really significantly less four Skittles there than there were on the floor. Listen, I really like <laughs> I really liked World War II ASMR. I found that yeah. very funny. Uh, yeah, um, I once made a joke like that in history class. It did not go over well. <laughs> well, that's okay because history people who like history are nerds. I like history. Why am exactly. I here with you. I need time to rant about. Me. I am a nerd, so yeah, that's also true. Isabel, your favorite idea of the episode? Um, I think the Kia Soul bit. I, I really like the Kia Soul bit. You really, lo you really love the Kia Soul. I also, before we go out, I need to say, to say that it says boob on your microphone. I've been looking at that for a really long time. It does not say boob. It does. Where? Here, let me turn it. Look, it says boob. Yeah, it says boob. <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> yeah, it says boob. Yes. Yes. Oh, it says boob. I do see it now. <laughs> I do see it now. <laughs> Teddy, you, you a titty man? Well, I mean, I watch anime, so... You gotta be. <laughs> Comes with the territory. <laughs> I think Ted's guest appearance is my favorite part of this yeah. episode. Definitely. Yep. I was a skill. skill. Alright, so we're gonna do housekeeping. I was too tired to be funny, so Ted... Saved it. So, thank you all. Not always about being funny, Isabel. Sometimes you can have good ideas that aren't hilarious. Well, thank you all for listening. Uh, now we're going to do our housekeeping. Our Facebook group is Good Idea Podcast. Our Twitter is at Good Idea Cast. Our Gmail is Good Idea Podcast at gmail.com. And our Tumblr is at Good Idea Cast also. You have a Tumblr? Yes, it's manned exclusively by Aiden. I've never posted anything on it, I don't think. <laughs> I may have posted one post on it once, like, months ago. Can anyway. I run your Tumblr? Yeah, sure. Why not? Yes. You have to actually work closely with us and do marketing and shit, but yes. So, it's a good time. Um, so what cut of the pay that you guys make from this do I get? Uh, what, you get what pay? You well, when we sell Sam's mic on the black market, uh, um, we'll give Ways you... Ways to monetize I, your podcast. <laughs> sell your podcasting equipment. Um, I think with all those things that we just rattled off, you can send us ideas on there or express your appreciation for the show or buy advertising. Um, a bunch of Mostly good, just that last one. Or but, text them to Bradley at... Or <laughs> text them to Bradley... Oh, wait, we should tell them our address, right? 224 660 38. That's right. 224 660 38. All right. That was a good idea. That was my phone number. <laughs> We're done here. Yeah.